for Vici Gaming over the past 6.85 patch, it seemed FY was playing much more the true greedy four with Fenrir playing the selfless role, but it seems FY for now experimenting a bit more with what are the different options as far as the, uh, the in well, in this game, the Invoker, but we've seen Pudge Morana, we've seen all kinds of crazy things. Here we go, level one fight here at the bottom lane, chilling touch across the board, burning. Has the magic missile ready? Who are they gonna go for? It looks like June's the target they want. He gets banished though by In Flame. That'll keep him alive and Super will give up first blood. Bounty Room gets picked up by the OD as well. Great start for Steedek. You should be a relatively straightforward kill. It's got a EMP now, it looks like, as well as his yeah. secondary spell. So 100, 100 mana burn this early on in the game, pretty damn nice. So here, like, Earth That's Spirit, true. that just yeah. takes away a spell. But you've got to be able to land it, so you've got to combo with the magic missile, not just the cold snap alone, I imagine. Burning, hit by the stun. Gonna rolling boulder in. Gyrocopter was already backing off though, so perhaps a bit of miscommunication. As a result, Arme in some trouble. Gets hit by the EMP that stuns there from the Vengeful Spirit. Have they got the damage from though? It looks like he may survive. That one did a tornado! <laughs> Ooh, you mentioned it. It's not exactly very long. Gonna need to be bigger than that Dyer's to satisfy VG Gaming, and attack. they won't get the kill. And it comes back to is whether or not the aggressive try line was the right decision for C Deck Youth. I guess in a way they did protect their other lanes from roaming from the Vici gaming supports, and I think that's definitely what you would have seen out of them, but they lost the other lane. We got Tornado coming in mid. Yeah, and Flame getting low, the Cold Snap follows, follows up the Tornado, who pops the Fairy Fine. Now he's got backup in the form of a Stellar Grave. FY going down here, Super as he got another brief buy. Doesn't look like he's got the mana for it. In Flame's still life for now, but burning. Make sure that his team do okay here. He goes in, gets a secondary stun off. Demons now in trouble. Runs into the boulder smash, but it's not going to amount to enough for them. Um, and could have could have survived a little bit longer making it up under the high ground. But yeah, I definitely agree that they probably could have come a little bit later. Demons hunting for this kill on burning. Both spells going to miss, but they're still going to keep the chase up. Jaro's got phase boot, so they should be able to catch up this one. Meanwhile, in the jungle, it's uh, the Brood and Voker. They've caught out Clockwork. This time, Ice Size will get inside the cog. Burning's now got backup. He's ran to the Invoker, as well as the, the Brood Mother. This is a 3v3 engagement here. Ice Size without ultimate will just back off. They're going to leave Burning to die. Spidling's doing some good damage here, and well, Earth Spirit may be in some trouble here. Another Soul Ring spawns Spidling's. Could be the death of demons here. OD imprisons himself. Demons, ooh, trying to bottle himself back up in flame. Maxi doing the bottling and Ice 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 has a soul ring now. Does he go for the nuke? Looks like he didn't have the vision he needed for it. Another attempt on Ice 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 here, but yep. looks like this one's not going to be successful. Caught him with the but... dust, but didn't get the rocket flare vision. But yeah, it's really, really nice to see from TDQ that they've got the, they've got the flexibility. Dyer's I mean, I was even talking about it uh, yesterday. That you know, what, one of the hallmarks of some of the strongest teams that Dota has ever seen is the, the, a team that can just run the exact same lineup but with different heroes. Mm -hmm. Mid lane, Amy gets great, and that ice blast may secure the kill though. Yeah, he's just been to turn in five. One more rocket barrage won't even get cast. The astral prisons there though. Have they got the damage after the prison? No, oh, he pops up the one. Goes down to the burning magic missile in the end now, and super on the run with the magnetize. He gets hookshotted down. Everybody just getting caught in the magnetize here. Earth Spirit just wreaking havoc in this fight. Gets another boulder smash on FY, and it looks like the magnetize finishes him off. Huge damage coming out from Demons. He won't get FY though in the end. And see that you have still managed to lose three here. Invoker one here from dead. There's the Sanger clip. In flame will get the kill on burning. Can you get Ice 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 as well? The Arcane Orb actually misses in the web. Doesn't find the kill, and FY has earned himself back up once, won't do so a second time. So, we'll see the, the new item pick up. Everything as far as stats go from the item, pretty useful as well. Maybe outside of the damage, you can say for here like OD, but eh, 10 damage, why not, you'll take it. Yeah, definitely, definitely not going to complain. And we were talking about him needing a BKB at some point. Mm -hmm. Kill onto the AA to start a fight at bottom lane. Jude now trying to get out. His shot has been used to, to, to get that kill. A swap available for burning the grave now comes into play. Jude just going to look to turn and fight. One shot wave is there and... Defensive earn charge with a brief fire. Super's blink dagger. It's a counter kill on the clockwork here, and it looks like Super now, the new target for CDEC. Can they catch up to him? Demons has a rock, will go for the kick, get the catch onto him. Rolling Boulder will slow down Super. Actually, doesn't slow him down. The Magnetize, though, will dish out some good damage here. Demons, though, still out of boulders, meaning this Magnetize will wear off and not really do all that much here. The Ice Blast coming out, looking like it could catch a couple. It does not slip aim, but he's going to go for the TP. Graved up, will save his life. Can he get out of here still? 
Looks like, uh, yep, Brief 5 will actually catch him out now. Inflame in the front lines has a time to clip, but he's lacking backup right now. He's in a 1v5 scenario, and this is looking terror for CDC. Shadow Wave will not make a difference here, and that just is going to spell the death of IC as well. This is a full team wipe in the end. BG Gaming, ah, CDC youth squad. The need for Cedic Youth to pick up BKBs and how valuable they are against the Vici Gaming Squad, but uh, BKBs for Vici are actually really, really good this game against Earth Spirit, against OD, and against Starcraptor. Burning can take some damage, but does have Aegis. Looks like they just want to try and get a, a cheap Aegis kill, but they're not even going to be able to kill Burning. Their Ice and Backline is being initiated on by the Brood, who's now going to BK of his own. The Ice Plus swooping in will miss everyone. Burning throws away the Aegis, might just survive. And BG Gaming get anything out of this. They'll take the OD, Ice Ice Ice, and Stupa. Their two BKBs unable to be dealt with, and Burning on the front lines will bring down Gyro as well. To the back, it's Demons on the Earth Spirit getting cold snapped up. He magnetizes an NY as a result, looking like he may go down. No heals available, and... We're gonna lose Earth Spirit, but he takes Invoker down with him, so a sport for a support. One, five on five, especially since the OD isn't there, he's still trying to finish up his BKB, but gambling on being able to find random pickoff. Oh, and they they found it. It's Ice 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 on the brood. Can they actually get that pickoff here? He four stops away. Has the hook shot available? He may need to turn and use it. Do they go for this kill, or are they just gonna look to run? The cooldown is there. The swap back into June, but Ice 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 is still in a lot of trouble. He's getting very low. Aim will finish off the first kill. Clockwork getting low on the dire side here. They're just trying to bail out here. A couple Ice Blasted heroes spelling trouble here, and Aim getting slowed down by the Frost Dragon. Needs a Grave, perhaps. Is it even available? Three seconds away, and Cedic Youth have disengaged here. They get a kill with the Sunny's the Cliff. Fenrir goes down in the AA Super now. BKB's himself and Inflame cannot do anything to that, but he can kill off FY's Invoker. They've taken three. Looking for four. Super blinks himself out of there, and it doesn't look like they'll be able to catch up, but three for nothing. The Vengeful Spirit's role this game is very much just to swap one of the big heroes away from the Dazzle so that oh. their team can burst him down. They've uh, caught in flame with a chain stun here. Will they actually get the kill? He pops the BKB forced up to the Logan. Grave will keep him alive for now. They want to chase him down, it seems, but Super with his BKB fighting in the front line, just burning next to him. The gem gets passed over, it looks like, as aim. Bringing down Burning here. Where's that illusion? The second Vengeful Spirit comes into play. He's got a swap as well as a stun. Burning getting silenced up here on his illusion here. Instead, it's going to be Ice 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 going in on demons. Getting one kill. The illusion still chasing. Gets the swap onto aim. The Jarakov that goes down gets stunned up as well. There's the Acceptor coming into play. And Burning just Radiance acting like a sacrificial lamb here to get his team a good team fight. I see now. He's got the gem. For now. Now, Michi Gaming have the gem. <laughs> so quickly to the right click damage between the, the Dragon Knight and the yep. Vengeful Spirit in that last fight. Also, potentially getting off a good good weave. Uh, if Cedek can take a much more organized fight and have their team buffed up to start, that's definitely going to be a very big factor. Mm -hmm. Here we go, Bernie, Bernie leaking the, the charge. He's got a level 2 swap. Can he land it? Who's going to go for it? He's going to blink forward in. Super will not get the first stun off. It's going to be aim popping his BKB very defensively, though. Super's used his, now it's going to be fighting into Inflame. Inflame may be in BKB fall, but the right click coming. Proven to be a lot for him to deal with. He gets very low on the back lines. Ice 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 now manning up onto the Earth Spirit. Can they bring him down? The Ice Blast on the Gyrocopter will secure that kill as well. Super now looking for a new target, perhaps. He gets the stun onto Inflame, who's been caught on the high ground. He goes down, Clockwork Hookshot on the low ground. It's just being used to try and cover his escape. Venge, well, that's the Venge Illusion. Swapping for style points, perhaps. Again, it's burning going down, but... Guess what? Everyone's still got the Dora. Shinnok, he's still... Still trying to stick in this. Gonna go and try and find that initiation that we were talking about. They're gonna find FY on the front lines here. Oh, he gets a Tornado EMP off. He's hit two as well. It's a hook shot onto two. Burning probably doesn't mind dying himself, but I'm sure FY would love to get out. He gets four stuff out. They leave Burning to die once more. This poor Venge. There's the Venge Illusion. Aim is saying, let's actually kill this freaking Venge Illusion for once. He won't even be able to do so. Demons, he's getting stunned up as well. They've lost the Gyrocopter. And well, the Rolling Boulder out will get blocked by Fenrir. That'll secure the kill on the Earth Spirit as the Magnite comes out as well. OD takes this for the blink over to catch the Cockroach on the other side of the cogs. We'll get a godlike streak for Dragon and GG's called. The lone survivor Dazzle is hiding in the trees and... Man. Vengeful Spirit Agonins is uh, the real deal, I guess. Yeah, it's unfortunate for Cedic Youth that they couldn't quite get the five-man going the way that they were hoping for.